SAP Build Process Automation allows to closely monitor all jobs, unattended, attended, or even while designing a bot, allowing a 360-degree view of all events happening in customer tenant. The Manage allows to configure and start processes, triggers, or even visibility scenario and business rules. By clicking on Automation Overview, a detailed dashboard allows to go further, Customers can have a look into given period. Different information are displayed for tracking the current jobs. The quota consumption over time attended or unattended is also displayed. Automation Quota Dashboard provides a simplified view from a time granularity standpoint. The job history displays the job split by statuses. Some button allows to have a view on logs, alerts, or even exporting historical data. We keep historical job data, distribution, and business activity data when the bot designer adds some probes on key aspects of the bot definition. Data is exported in CSV, enabling the analysis by third party or with SAP Analytics Cloud, for instance. By clicking on a given chart, we can jump to the corresponding jobs filtered by date. The jobs even completed can be displayed, depending on the job history, notify instances, input output, alert handlers, or even logs can be reported. Within the agents view, IT can register new agents or simply display all connected agents. All machines or aliases are shown. We can filter by machines, logins, statuses, attributes, projects, or by state. By clicking on a given agent, detailed information is available. Key events are available, activities for the last week which can be time adjusted is available, also activity for the last day or for the last hour is available. Same for job history, available projects, disabled scenarios or even for trace projects. Traces can later be downloaded or shared with our support when needed. For another agent, the same kind of information is available too. Process automation is part of SAP BTP Cockpit. BTP Cockpit allows to create sub-account in which build process automation will be subscribed and deployed in few clicks. The boosters can automate the subscription and simplify the life of customers by adding the different capabilities of SAP build process automation and other type of components. Within the sub-account list, I can click on one of our sub-account, Build PM Sandbox. If needed, we can subscribe to other components too. Security can be managed per sub-account. Users can be added. Role collection can be defined and associated. Application roles based on the application capabilities are displayed as well. By clicking on role collections, we can have a look on all role collections that have been added or defined by IT. For instance, I created a role collection, Process Automation Super Admin. The sharing applies to each project. By clicking on Manage Members, we can define project members focusing on design and collaboration. We can also specify the authorization level such as view only, developer role, or even administrator role. What has been defined within BTP Cockpit is cross-checked with the project members. Now I can see for this who has been assigned what role. We are using tenant-based isolation in addition to the security defined at the project level. This allows to follow some well-known rules when dealing with lifecycle management of project and project deployment. When switching to another tenant, the rules are different and even the description. The tenant admin can define the initial rules of governance. For instance, this tenant is restricted to productive usage. That means the user can deploy projects from other tenants, but would need to use transport management for ensuring a good lineage. Collaboration and the ability to reuse version content from the store or from the users is at the heart of SAP Build Process Automation. In Lobby, all projects published to the library are mentioned with a dedicated icon. I would like to reuse a content in my project. For this, I click on the project settings and go to the dependencies view. I can see existing SDKs in my project. I add an existing business process project. I display or type the content I'm looking for, such as automatic creation of sales order from Excel. I now choose a version within my tenant or from the store and click on add. Now the content is added within my project. I can reuse the different artifacts immediately. I add a new automation. I specify the minimum agent version and a name for my automation.
I can now open a list of existing automations from the right panel. The list of automations from the different dependencies is available right now. I will simply drag and drop this main workflow automation into my automation flow. By double click, I can have a look on the automation itself. Obviously, citizen developers can provide meaningful step descriptions or comments to ease the overall readability of the bot flow. I am going back to the new automation for saving it. Let's see how easy citizen developers can publish to the library for enabling reuse content. For a given project, I click on publish to the library. That's it. By clicking the publish, this project can now be reused. Finally, let's see how we can manage the deployment with several tenants from development to production. I have a dev project with several versions. On the other tenant, the same project is deployed with only one productive version. I will open the project for performing an update, deploy, and promote action. I would like to leverage the new capabilities of Agent 3x. I specify the minimum agent version like the version 3.13 currently installed in my machine. Now I would like to update the latest version of the different SDKs. As I don't want to update one by one, I click on update all SDKs. Now the latest version of the SDK is now in my project. I would now release a new version. The version contains some minor change. I'll now add a comment for keeping track of the change. I will deploy it in my environment and my four existing triggers will be updated as well. The version is now deployed and we can assume the tests have been done. Going back to the lobby, we have now refreshed the list of projects and displayed the list of versions for this project. It's now time to promote the project to the next phase. In the current setup, the project will be automatically approved for the next stage. In the productive tenant, I can refresh to see the list of all projects. Now we can deploy the project. We will quickly review the different steps and click on deploy. That's it. The project is now deployed.